Dear audience, here I would like to present our paper, Discourse Bridging the Gap Between Discourse Knowledge and Common Sense Knowledge, accepted by the web conference. The authors come from Hong Kong USC and Huawei North Art Club. First, let's talk about common sense knowledge. According to the pioneer word ConceptNet, common sense is regarded as good judgment. There are facts and understandings possessed by most people. ConceptNet has gone through several rounds of development and is now a large-scale large graph containing common sense relations among noun phrases or entities. Another important common sense knowledge base is atomic. It adopts human annotations to acquire everyday if-then common sense knowledge under some predefined relationships. Take the figure as an example. The base event is person X repels person Y's attack. Atomic ex explores the motivation, characteristics, and precondition of the subject, person X, and also the potential results on other people like person Y. Another important issue is a, the scale of common sense knowledge that is needed for machines to understand human language. It's estimated by Marvin Minsky that 60 million things about the world are needed. In comparison, currently 21 million edges over 8 million nodes are provided in ConceptNet and 1.5 million of the nodes are in, are in English. For Atomic, there are around 0.9 million edges. For Transform CS, a common sense knowledge base using a combination of human annotation and information extraction contains much larger scale, which is 19 million edges. As has been addressed, the acquisition of common sense knowledge is quite essential for AI systems. However, all of the current approaches have some significant drawbacks. First, for neural generation models, which generates common sense relations using predefined language models, using, using pre-trained language models, suffer from selection bias problem. The neural models tend to feed the training data too well to generate novel con concepts. For information extraction-based methods, although there may be reporting bias, where the frequencies of text may not truly reflect the relative likelihood in the real world, we can use the information extracted from text as candidate knowledge and use a neural model to classify or to discriminate it. We will introduce this idea later. Last but not least, Graph structure in common sense reasoning is also quite important and has shown promising improvements in several reasoning tasks like QA. However, current acquisition approaches doesn't take this graph substructure into account. As inherently in atomic, the average in degree is only 2.25, making it too hard to leverage graphs. In order to tackle the above issues, we propose a novel framework discourse from discourse to common sense knowledge. It is a framework that converts the automatically extracted discourse knowledge among eventualities to if-then common sense knowledge. Take the illustration figure as an example. The discourse eventuality graph contains discourse relationships among events like I am hungry will result in I have lunch. These daily discourses can be naturally regarded as a if-then common sense knowledge. For example, if X be hungry, then X will want to have lunch, which is of the same format as atomic. With this intuition, we would leverage such discourse knowledge graph as candidate common sense knowledge and train a discriminator using the high-quality human annotated common sense resource atomic, and then discriminate the edges in Acer to acquire a much larger and more diverse common sense knowledge resource. We then introduce Acer, a large-scale automatically extracted knowledge graph representing discourse relationships between eventualities we can check the figure for some illustration about the structure of Acer. I am hungry, result, I have lunch. I have lunch, result, I am full. 
we adopt the core part of Acer, which contains 10 million edges among 27 million eventualities. Then we introduce the seed common sense resource that we use. We study the if then common sense knowledge base about daily events, atomic. There are nine relations defined across causes, effects, and stative, stative relationships. They also distinguish the subjects of the action. Generally, person X is the subject of the head event, and atomic studies the effects on both person X and like someone else, like person Y and person Z. Here are two examples of atomic triples. If X feels hungry, then X wants to have lunch. If X praised Y, then Y will be happy. The task of discourse is defined as a common sense knowledge graph population task. The common sense knowledge graph is denoted as C, where the elements are triples HRT. Also, we have a discourse knowledge graph G. Elements are denoted as H prime, R prime, T prime. First, we need to align the two resources all together as GC, where the nodes and edges come from both G and C. Next, in the training process, we use the edges from common sense resource C as ground truth edges to train a link prediction model that scores the triples. In the inference process, we apply the above model to predict the plausibility of edges in G, which is a discourse knowledge graph Acer. Next, let's introduce the details of the discourse framework. Remember that we firstly need to combine Acer and Atomic all together to get a unified graph GC. As Acer and Atomic adopts different ways of representing personal pronouns, where in Acer, the nodes adopt concrete personal pronouns like he and she. In Atomic, the subjects are placeholders like person X and person Y. As shown in the right figure, we need to convert person X accepts person Y's apology to something like she accepts his apology to be compatible with the format of Acer. In the end, we can get a unified graph where both Atomic and Acer are in the same format. Then we propose BirdSage, a link prediction a link prediction model that uses Bird to encode eventualities, and use GraphSage to aggregate the neighboring information in Acer Graph. The below figure is an overview of our framework. We firstly align Acer and Atomic, and use the Atomic edges as ground truth edges to train a link prediction model using BirdSage. Next is the evaluation of our framework. First, the first is the result of the link prediction task. We adopt automatic evaluation to check the accuracy of the common sense knowledge graph population. We compare our proposed BirdSage with the counterpart where GraphSage is removed. We can see that adding a GraphSage layer will improve the prediction accuracy on all nine relationships. Second, we evaluate the inference part of CKGP, where Acer edges are scored by the link prediction model. We adopt similar setting with Comet, that is, given head and relation to predict tail. We randomly sample 50 heads for each relation to evaluate the human annotated quality compared with Comet. Each head is associated with 10 tails accordingly. We can see that the retrieval base discourse achieves comparable results with the generating tails directly using pre-trained language models. Besides human annotated quality, we also check the novelty of the generated tails. Specifically, we check the proportion of generated tails that are novel and the proportion of novel tails in the set of all the unique generated tails. The second one, NU, can be used to check the diversity of generated novel concepts. We can see that due to the nature of selection bias, neural generation models suffer from generating novel concepts. For some relationships, the top one results are all existing concepts like O effect and O react. This code doesn't suffer from this problem and can generate much more diverse knowledge. The third metric is diversity. 
for the top 10 retrieved tails given a certain head. We check the diversity of all 10 tails using the proportion of unique 1 grams and 2 grams. Still, this course performs much better on this. In the end, different from the previous comet setting where the heads come from the atomic dataset, we check the genera generalization ability of our model using novel heads out of the atomic domain. We report the human annotated accuracy here and find that it is feasible to populate A3 to a common sense knowledge graph. We pick up some cases from the paper for demonstration. If you check the generated tails, you will find that a comet generates very similar results. If X gets a call, comet can generate Y talks to X and Y talk to X, which can be regarded as the same one. While this calls can yield much diverse common sense tails like X, Y need X, Y feels better. Also, we can have uh, some discussion about the effects of Acer. First of all, it's worth noting that for the seam driven relations, O effect, O react, and O want, this code outperforms or is comparable with Comet in terms of both quality, novelty, and diversity. This is because neural generation models require sufficient training data, while well, for those seam based relations, the average number of tails per head is much smaller than that than the Asian based relations, X based relationships. This cost doesn't suffer from these problems as Acer can inherently provide many extra neighbors. Next, we find that this cost performs well in X intent and X need, which are two causal relations. What does the X intend to do before the events? For other relation there, what would X would like to do after the event? We find that comets sometimes confuses causes and effects, while discos can prevent this problem as Acer provides explicit temporal relations like precedence and succession. In comet, for example, X want to sleep is the reason that X go to bed, not the result. To conclude, we propose discos a novel framework that populates the inferential common sense knowledge in atomic to an eventuality-centric discourse knowledge graph Acer. The bird stage model learns common sense representations from graph quite well. This course shows promising future of converting cheap discourse knowledge into expensive common sense knowledge as showing the experiments. Okay, that's the end of the presentation. Thank you all.